Hey, here we are. This is my favorite supermarket and my favorite cashier of all time. I don't even want to call her cashier. She's like a friend. I come here because we visit her in this store. So, Brenda, what did I tell you to say? Welcome to part two of Super Base Project. Super Base Project. Awesome. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Continuing on with the uh, Dirty Raspberry Base Neck and uh, I just finished putting the, the white coat on but because I'm going to apply several coats of finish on this um, I thought let's eliminate the sealer coat and uh, I'm surprised at uh, how well this actually went on. This is uh, two coats on here so far, one on the headstock and it covered exceptionally well. I thought it would probably soak in quite a bit but uh, it's actually really good. Wherever the dot marker is on this, I'm going to paint a, uh, a white stripe. Just a neat idea that I, I want to try. This is my own base, so I can do whatever I want, right? All right, I've got the black coat on here, and uh, you can see the parts that I've taped off where the, all the fret markers go. So uh, it looked really good when it was painted white. Obviously, white hides a lot more than black, but there's still a uh, couple of coats at least of clear to go on here. So it's actually looking pretty good. Okay, here's the, uh, the big reveal. Ooh. I mean, I knew this was gonna look very contrasting. That's kind of the idea. I wanted to do this for a long time to a guitar or a bass or whatever, to a guitar neck. And uh, yeah, this looks kind of cool. Wow, it's actually a lot cooler than what I uh, had envisioned in my head. Uh, yeah, I like this a lot. Kind of the uh, bumblebee or whatever, black and white, really does stand out. And with the, uh, the Kind of that dirty raspberry body i think it's going to look really cool so basically the color scheme of this guitar is all black uh, everything is black the neck the hardware the pickups except the body is that raspberry color and then obviously just the white where the uh the markers are but okay we're getting there it's looking cool got the neck done got it clear coated painted black obviously and I love how these little white stripes turned out. They uh, line up with the fret markers. That was the whole idea, the whole... I thought this would be cool one day to uh, kind of do that, paint the back of the neck stripes like that. So what I did here with the white, you can feel a little bit of a transition. I tried to eliminate that by putting an extra coat of clear where the white goes. So I painted it white, then taped it up and did the black. So if you know what I mean, the, there'd be a, a dip down where the white goes. So I put, taped it up, did an extra layer of clear on the, uh, the white to help build it up so there's less transition from black to white. Just a, an aesthetics thing, um, just to make it look a little more uh, smoother, more professional looking, I guess. The decal was kind of fun. Let's show you that, talk about that for a bit. This, uh, this is a Grim Reaper. That's actually, uh, I've always liked that image. That's from a World War I biplane, an English biplane. But I always liked that little guy. I like the creepiness of the old style skeletons and things like that. This whole headstock is a decal. And it was kind of challenging. Um, I took a picture of the headstock as a template so that when I figured out where this guy went in between the, uh, the tuners and my logo, that it was all placed right. But when you print things off on a printer, sometimes uh, the printer decides to do its own size. It changes. So uh, even though I had a little bit of overlap all the way around, because all the black here is printed. That's the decal. And uh, things didn't line up very well. I got to get the uh, Grim Reaper in place, no problem, but then the logo would be too low. Or vice versa, the logo in the right place. And, so I realized I had to do a little bit of surgery to the decal. I could have tried to print another one off and adjust it, but I could end up printing off 20 of them and still have it wrong. So I thought, well, let's experiment 
and try this out. So the thing is when you print a decal, uh, it's not solid color. You can't print white. And this is not, that's printed that color, but uh, the only thing that really comes out strong is black. And even then, it's still transparent. If you hold it up to the light, you can see through. So what you have to do is when you put the decal on, you have to put it over top of white. So this is over top of white, even though I painted the neck black. But I left a little bit of black around the edge, just so you wouldn't see a white line around the edge here, because that wouldn't be wouldn't finish very nice. So the black on the edge is paint that's clear coated and this is decal that's clear coated. It's almost seamless. But what I had to do to make that decal fit was actually cut it. And right up in here I trimmed, I actually cut the decal and I moved it about a quarter of an inch. So there's actually a quarter of an inch gap right in here, right between the, uh, the top uh, tuning pegs. And uh, I figured that would help hide it if it were to show a little bit. So what it is, there's the decal actually stops and then for a quarter of an inch it's black paint. So it's pretty seamless. You can barely tell it's there. If you get it in the sunlight sometimes you can see it. I've had it out to outside or near a window and, and you can tell a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's pretty flawless. And then you can see a little bit of black dots. Um, I tried to touch up spots with a Sharpie just to see what would happen. This is all experimental, remember. This isn't uh, going to a, a client or anything. This would be mine so I can play and experiment and see what happens with these things. That's the whole idea of a guitar project like this. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's a cool looking headstock. And then uh, after I painted this thing, what I decided to do was finish the fretboard off and I gave it uh, a coat of black leather dye. I say a coat, uh, it's dye. And lemon oil. And I also sanded. I put the black leather dye, I sanded this to smooth it out, put layers of lemon oil on here, and it uh, gives it a nice shine, nice texture, nice and smooth. Really finishes that off nice. 